up ahead versus cities ahead on the Garmin Drive 52. These are the differences. Now when you are navigating on a journey and you tap the triple dot, you have the choice of up ahead and cities ahead along with other things, but I'm concentrating on these two for this video. If your menu order does not look like this, and by the way, if I don't touch anything for a while, it auto cancels and goes back to the map, which is why I did that. If your menu order doesn't look like this, bear in mind you can tap and hold and drag things around. So you can make yours look like this if you want to, or just leave it as is, however you like. Cities ahead, we'll do that one first. This one is green. And what it always does is that it shows the three closest cities and you will get one to three little things there being gas stations, food, and lodging. So I will pick Plano. And then sometimes you have all four of these uh, selectable. Now notice that that one's gray. That's for rest areas and restrooms. If there was one close by on this journey, then you could select it. But when there's not, that's when you can't select it. So I can highlight each one of these. It takes a second. Okay, now it's going to show me all the gas stations, all the restaurants, all the lodging along the journey. And if I tap this guy at the top right, it will actually show on the map where each one is. I can get further information like that or go back to a list. So if, for example, I tap that one, Honest Restaurant, shows me where it is on the map. Oops, went back too far. Do them all again. And this time I'll do a Firenze Pizza, show me where it is on the map. Back to the list. Donut tree, show me where it is. Okay, back to the map, etc. You get the idea. That is cities ahead. The categories are always gas stations, rest areas, restrooms, restaurants, and lodging. As far as I know, cannot be adjusted as far as that stuff is concerned. But then we have up ahead. Now, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but in the context of this one I have to show what it is. Before even going here, if I go to settings, map and vehicle, map layers, and next to up ahead places I tap the arrow, it is these three categories that will show up when I select up ahead and I can adjust the order like this. I can also choose what to show even a custom search if I want to. Now right now I have gas stations parking and rest areas but if I wanted to change one, this one to banks, I can totally do it. And I will change them just just for this video so I'll show you what happens. So I'll do banks. Um, okay, let me try attraction. Let me try that one more time. Yeah, attractions and uh, we'll do parking. Okay. Banks, attractions, parking. Save, save, back, back, map. All right, tap, and now we'll do up ahead. And notice that this one is blue instead of green, so it's easy to determine which is on your screen and which isn't. So yep, we got our banks, we got our attractions, and we got our parking. So if I do uh, the banks, for example, now it does have to think about it for a second, but as you see, it's pretty fast to respond. And then I see all this stuff, and then it operates the same as Cities Ahead does, where I can tap, show me where it is on the map, okay, back to list, go to another one, show me where it is on the map, good. And by the way, when I'm on this screen, I can even go further, and say, ah, okay, get more information and such. Back to the list back to the map. Alright, and if I want to change these, I have to go back to settings, map and vehicle, map layers, and I'm going to change it back to the way I had it, which is, 
gas stations, parking, and rest areas. Save, save, back, back, view, and it immediately changed. The rest areas, especially if there's not one immediately close to you, will take time to show up. You can see it thinking about it right now. It will show up eventually. Because I, I purposely plotted a really long drive in this one. Oh, there it is. Yep. So eventually it will come through and you'll see it. So that's the one that's customizable. But the one that is not customizable but still, still usable is uh, the cities ahead. So you might be wondering, well, isn't that a bit redundant? Uh, why can't I just have something where I can have everything I want? You can technically with up ahead, but here's the nice part about this. Since you know that cities ahead always will show certain categories, you can have the up ahead show different categories that are not gas stations, uh, what was what was it that showed in the cities ahead? In up ahead, you configure it not to show gas stations, restaurants, lodging, and three other ones. So it makes it a little quicker. Yeah, you have to dive through a few sub menus to get to this stuff, but the point is that you can do it, which is nice. And another thing too is that when you are on up ahead and you tap any one of these things, like we'll just say the parking stuff. It just brings up immediately a list just for that category. Whereas with Cities Ahead, there's a, and it's a little bit of an extra step. So if I do Plano, okay, it doesn't remember which, like if I highlight these three. Okay, it's not going to remember that. By default, I think it always just does the gas. Yeah, it does the gas stations first. So there's a little more involvement with this one. You have to kind of experiment with it to see which one works best for you. But it's nice that you at least have the option. You can do up ahead. You can do cities ahead. They're similar, similar. But the way they work is a little different. But it's nothing that you can't learn. So not too bad. I think it's a cool feature to have both.